Oh look, we're in front of Japan today. <laughs> Another one of those lovely flags. Um, yeah, so excuse the hair, I've just come out of the shower. Um, I've been set some um, online training tasks today from my skit because I'm missing a subject knowledge enhancement day. It's on RE and PSHCE. Um, so I'm gonna get started on that. Okay, so it's 2.33, I'm still working on that work that they've set us. I'm just taking a pause now because I need to now design a whole lesson based on one part of the RE or PSHE curriculum that I choose, so I'm going to have a think about that. That's an update so far, I have done nothing else today. I've had some lunch, got some red velvet cake next to me. Um, yeah. Right, it is past four o'clock, like it took me way too long, but brushed my hair, feeling fresh. I was gonna do it outside, but I don't know if you can hear, but um, it's so windy outside, there was no chance that you would be able to pick up anything of what I said. So here I am, still in the same background, but I'm all excited because now I can show you my delivery. So, oh, go on here. So Sage Publishing has um, kindly, now how can we make this work? I'm gonna balance you on stuff. This is what happens when you forget your tripod at your house. What is the point? Uh, right, you'll have to do without seeing my face, I'm afraid, folks. Okay, so. They've kindly gifted me some teaching books, which is amazing. What is this? Oh, okay, nothing important. The first one is Teaching Systematic Synthetic Phonics um, in Primary Schools, which, as somebody who much prefers Key Stage 2, um, I found it really, really useful. I absolutely loved my um, second placement. Um, which was in year one, but I found that my phonics knowledge was, was seriously lacking, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I felt like in that stage, um, I really, really developed my subject knowledge in terms of phase two and phase three, but phase four and phase five, um, I still really need to work on. Um, my One of my skit colleagues um, let me borrow this one Transforming Primary QTS, that's the name of the series of these books. Um, the English one, which I found really, really helpful. Um, so I'm gonna have a look at that one. I'm gonna do a review of all of these in a separate video, um, just so that it's easier to find um, when looking on my channel. Um, the next one is a practical guide to teacher well-being, And I mean, this is the best example. <laughs> At the moment, teacher well-being is so, so, so important. Obviously, if we're not feeling great, then we can't give the best lessons possible. And obviously that means that pupil progress isn't gonna be the best it could be. So I'm all for teacher well-being. You know, I think it's super, super important to, you know, not only prioritize the 30 children, but prioritize yourself in order to give the best performance you can for your kiddos. Oh, and this, okay, this one is Mathematics Explained for Primary Teachers. Um, again, super helpful for me. I much prefer English, um, even when I was in primary and secondary school. You know, I always preferred writing to mathematics. And it says, there's a free access to interactive ebook, and inside there's lesson plans and worksheets, problem solve videos, questions and quizzes, and learning and teacher points. So that's going to be brilliant. And the last one that was kindly given to me, and I love this cover, I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I love the cover, is Your Book Smart School Savvy Stress Busting Primary Teacher Training Companion. Now what's this? Oh, so it says on the, on the back, just reading the back, discover bright ideas for approaching your course and succeeding in your study. Explain, explore how you can thrive on your school placement and start developing your classroom teaching skills and learn how to look after your mental health and well-being. See, it's important. While training 
to teach. Love it. Ooh, I can't decide which one I'm gonna read first. I might look at I might look at the um training companion thing because that just had a nice cover. <laughs> Speaking of yesterday, was I even speaking of yesterday? I don't know. Speaking of yesterday, um, I didn't record anything because there wasn't really anything to record. I mean, the most exciting it got was um, my boyfriend teaching me how to play um, Smash Brothers, Bros, Smash Bros. Um, yeah, I just ended up getting frustrated, so that was <laughs> that wasn't worth recording. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. Um, but I will be recording um, an extra video soon, um, reviewing those books once I've read them more and made notes on on them. Um, so far, really, really enjoying them, um, especially the well-being thing and um, the um, oh, what's the title? Hang on. I haven't remember. I haven't learned the titles by heart yet. Um, oh, the school savvy stress busting uh, teacher companion. That one I can relate to so much. Like the first thing it talks about is um, feeling like you have imposter syndrome. And I was like, oh my goodness, yes, you know, because what I have found is that a lot of people, unless you know, in your placement, if you tell them how you feel, they're like, oh yeah, I felt like that. Don't worry, but when in your training they don't necessarily acknowledge those feelings it was so nice to just read an intro of a book and be like yes this is me this is what i needed to hear so that's really nice oh they actually hang on there's two other books that the deputy head in my school uh, recommended to me and i'm just going to re recommend them to you now um there's this one making every lesson count six principles to support great teaching and learning and apparently there's make every lesson making every lesson count um for maths and other subjects too so that one is packed with practical strategies um which are all linked to ts4 about um effective lessons and effective teaching and making use of um making lesson time count and there's also this one Embedded Formative Assessments by Dylan William. Um, apparently this is, he said this is a must have book and obviously formative assessments are really important for um, knowing how much a child understands, um, how much they are grasping in a topic. Um, so that's really important. Um, just before I went into self-isolation, he let me borrow them. So I'm gonna have a look at those as well. Don't think you need any more montage of me reading, so I will just speak to you in a bit. What's up? Wait. What? What's up? Isn't he very happy? No. Hasn't got a collar. <laughs> Should we go out? Don't know. Can cats get corona? No. <laughs> what are you meowing about? What are you meowing about? Oh, I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> it literally got to my feet. What's wrong? just wants to be loved. Oh. <laughs> 
It's a needy cat. It's a needy cat. Don't let him come in. No. Hello. 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 I'm not even a cat person, am I? No, not really. I think you want some water. Do you want some water? <laughs> Mm, yeah, we've literally been stroking her for like 10 minutes or so. She's just not going, or he, well, we don't really know yet. But it's absolutely freezing, so we're kind of like hovering by the door. Just realized you can't see me, but. But it's got like a scratch by its eye. We don't know if it's just scares and it's been like in a fight or something, but we don't recognize it, do we? No. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not an expert on cats, but I don't, so I don't know what it's like. What it's demonstrating, but I just put my foot in the water. But whenever we, whenever we like leave, she starts meowing badly again. Like, look, who's that? Who's that? But yeah, I don't know what to do. And she's like back and forth pacing against my knee. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I've just finished editing the video and I realised that I didn't end it so after the cat thing we just had dinner really unexpected little guest really really mega cute um, we went to wash our hands and ended up going so that was probably the best thing otherwise we could have been stroking them all day um, but yeah so Nothing really exciting happened after that. Again, thank you so much for continuously watching the videos. If you do like it, please give a like, comment, just say hi, um, and subscribe because it means a lot. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.